Hey everybody, and this is another LEGO review on my iPhone, not my iPhone, my iPod Touch 4th generation, and this is the Hoth Wampa Cave, and it comes with four people, uh, sells for about $40, got this one for Christmas, Palpatine Shuttle I didn't, got that a week before Christmas, which is really odd, but it has the cave, you can see over there, and it's got the little snow speeder. I guess it's called, I don't remember. And let's start off with the minifigures. Right here we got Luke. Blue lightsaber, silver hilt. He's got the Hoth gear. He's got a helmet. That with this, this can go down and attach into that other one. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, same old face that's in the Luke land speeder. And... You know, sorry. Just look at the floor for a few minutes. It's a nice floor. Alright. And we got a skeleton, a Lego skeleton, which is killer. It's got the cool arms, the wicked face. So that's pretty cool. We got the rebel pilot guy. If I knew his name, I would tell you. Uh, helmet. Very nice helmets. Detailed. Then on him, he's got this cool printing on um, the front. On the back, it's really just this. Nothing too cool. And then his face, I think it's cool. It's got the orange kind of face thing. I don't know what they're called. And then it's got a little helmet strap kind of thing going down. So when you put on the helmet, it looks like it's strapped in. So that's him. And then the set that tops, the minifigure that tops off this set is the Wampa. The Wampa is two inches, just about. It's got this one arm that, let me see Luke, look at the floor again. It's got this one arm that can grab onto minifigure's legs. This other arm can hold just some random items that you may have. Yeah, it comes with this piece of meat. So you got that. Uh, these little horns can detach. I'll just leave that horn off. And then the arm is connected by this. And only thing I don't like about the Wampa is that it's like it can't move. It's got these two large pegs for legs. Wish the legs could move. So just hang on a minute so I can get the Wampa reconstructed. So look at the floor. What's that floor look like? Tell me if it's cool. All right, so that's mostly it. We're gonna start off with the cave. Nothing really to see in front. Bones just fell. So let's go over here. Over here, you just got like a little area. I'm not sure what this little piece was for. Uh, over here is, I'll show you that in a minute, bones attach into here. And then up here is two little pegs. And what you do is you take Luke and you set him up there and it, and it hangs him upside down just like he was in the movie. And then what you do with his lightsaber, sorry guys. It's hard to do this with only one hand. Is you put it in here, and then what you do is it's not actually gonna go in his hand, so I'm not gonna bother taking the hand out. But you snap this, and then the lightsaber goes flying. Went over by the wampa. Uh, it can usually go pretty far. I wish they would have put a little wall here though, because what the lightsaber usually does is go awfully. Hang on, here's a lot. It goes awfully close to that wall, and you saw how close it came to the camera. So that's one thing I don't like. I think there should be a wall here. I could probably make a wall if I had some white pieces. But yeah, there should have been a wall here. I could always move some pieces around. But that's one of the main features. That's kind of like the most popular feature to this is the shooting of the lightsaber. So let's move this over here. And 
bring over a snow speeder. So over here, we got sort of like a motor little fan that spins. We got uh, this, and this is a decal, which was printed. Let's run it back up. We got the two little guns here. Oh, there's only a decal for this on this side, not this. Usually, Lego sets are symmetrical. That's what I wasn't getting. We got this again on this side. Same over here. And then on the back. Mine didn't come with a string, which I think was very crappy. Jerks. But if you had a string, you would push this down, and then nuke would grab onto it, which is an air curve from the movie again. Oh, <sighs> so cockpit fell off, but it opens up like that, and they take the rubble pilot. Never get this home. You take the rebel pilot, you put him in there, and he just sits there, sort of laying back. And then a thing that I don't get is it has two seats. Luke doesn't really get in there. You know, his helmet fell off. I'm just gonna put him in. He can't really fit in there. They always end up bumping heads and things. I guess this time they didn't, but then you shut this up. Alright. You shut that up if I can get it to attach. And uh, so that's really all I came with. I think this should be twenty-five dollars, not forty. Yes, it does come with the killer Wampa. The Wampa is amazing. Very, very cool. Very detailed. Very big minifigure. Like compared to the skeleton's a little shorter, but I'm gonna compare it to the skeleton. This is a, compared to the skeleton. It's much bigger. It's almost double the size or so. So that's pretty cool. And let's get on to ratings. Younger kids, I'm gonna give it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna give it a nine. They'll agree that it's kind of small. It's not the biggest set in the world, but it does come with the Wampa, which they can die for. So, let's go to Order Kids. Order Kids, eight. They're, if they pay for it, they are going to agree that this should be $25. Because it's not too big. It's an easy build. I got this done less than half an hour on Christmas Day when I built it. So... Kind of a disappointment there, how fast it is to build. And I'm gonna give adults a seven. This isn't something that can really be displayed too well. Uh, I, I think a lot of people can agree on that. This is not a display kind of set. But it is very, very cool. It's got the Lego skeleton, which just tops off these set so uh that's all for this episode and i hope you guys are enjoying the new flip video eps eps what the heck was that about? uh sorry they had to look at the floor and bye everybody wow